You see, I never expected to be working in the GIC. Yes. Yeah. From where I was, yeah. you know, I mean, you know, I came from a very poor family. I had no idea what investments is all about. Mm. And then, you know, because of the work that Mr. Lee did in building up Singapore, building up the reserves, mm -hmm. I had this job, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, as a chief investment officer, and I've just retired uh, after 42 years of service, having to look after our reserves. Mm. There would be no reserves to speak about if Mr. Lee had not done this work of building up yeah. the Singapore economy. So, you know, all my work at the GIC was made possible because of the foundation, because of what he and his colleagues have done, had done in the past. Not only grow the economy, but building up the reserves. So, you know, it's, uh, uh, it, for me, it's like a, a, a dream come true, right? The dream of a career you know, where I was able to enjoy my work professionally and yet make a contribution, you know, to what, uh, you know, Mr. Lee and his, uh, and his colleagues in government had built up over the years. Mm -hmm. Tremendous satisfaction, you know. And, and I think a lot of people who were in public service, like me, you know, I think we went into public service and then we were happy and proud and inspired to be in public service because Mr. Lee set the finest example. You know that you were, you were working for a man of dedication and integrity. That's the key point. You know, we're not going to waste our time working for somebody who lacks integrity. Right? And at the same time, as I share with you, you, you know, he set a very high standard in terms of what we want to achieve. Yeah. You know, he's not going to tolerate, you know, shorty performance. He's a very demanding taskmaster, mm -hmm. but somebody who is also willing to learn and able to explain to you why he disagrees with you and then helping you, as he did with me, to craft you know, maybe a, a better solution to a problem. Mm -hmm. So a tremendous uh, 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 satisfaction and, 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 and inspiration. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the, the personal kind of thing, you know, it, it just gave me, you know, it's, um, <clears throat> to see, you know, in his frailty, you know, you know such tenderness and, and, and really a person of compassion. You know, yeah. and in a way, I think, you know, <clears throat> I think this last 10 years, you might say, you know, um, as he became more frail, you know, I think, in a sense, it, it, it sort of endeared him even more mm. to Singaporeans, mm. you know, yeah. and that, that, <clears throat> that all he wanted was to have was, was a better Singapore. You know, I mean, that was his all-consuming uh, desire and passion. So that's why I'm very happy to do this interview with you, because I think it meant a lot to me.